The Giants host the Steelers on Monday Night Football. Pittsburgh favored by six. First game for new head coach Joe Judge and first season opener for Daniel Jones as well. Giants were 7-9 and nine against the spread last year, but of course, only won four games. John, who you got? Welcome to the NFL, Joe Judge. Get ready to go against probably the best defense in the NFL in the Pittsburgh Steelers. Look, the Giants and Jets, uh, Giants and Steelers, excuse me, both modeled the same way as organizations, but it's always defense first. The Steelers have eight number one draft picks on that defense. They were vicious last year. The Giants have a shaky offensive line. I know they have Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley and Evan Engram, but who's blocking T.J. Watt? Who's blocking Bud Dupree? Stephon Tuitt back to go along with Cameron Hayward and the Steelers secondary is solid plus the wild card here is Big Ben he says he's healthy he feels good he's going to get out there he's got his weapons I think James Conner has a huge day against that giant defense which I have zero confidence in and last but not least the Steelers play extremely well on Monday night they've won nine in a row the math just doesn't add up for Big Blue I'll take the Steelers on the road and lay the six well, I think John Hahn is going to like what I'm about to say, and I think most of the audience is not going to like what I have to say. I love the Steelers in this spot. Number one, let's talk line movement. This game opened at three and a half. I would not be surprised if come Monday, you see this line right around a touchdown. John hit it. The Giants are a putrid defensive team. You got Big Ben all fired up to play. I love a resurgent year for Juju Smith-Schuster. Deontay Johnson, I think, is going to have a monster 2020 campaign, and I would be concerned about the turnovers. That's still a pass rush, and my guy, Mika Fitzpatrick, formerly of the Miami Dolphins, was a game-changer last year in that Steelers secondary. I expect the Steelers to win this game 7 to 10, 7 to 14 points right around that range. Monday night trends good, line movement trends good. Not a good sign if you're a Giant fan. Right, and JJ, the over under here is 47 and a half. I'm curious to see how that Giants O line performs against that Steelers front seven. I mean, do you expect enough offensive firepower to send this over? Yeah, this is a tough total. I don't have as strong a play on this one, Maria, as I did with the Jets and the Bills. If I were playing this game, I actually would go in the direction of the over because I think for the Giants, they need to speed this game up. And for Pittsburgh, listen, you're playing against that giant defense. I would expect that you're going to be able to score a good amount of points. This is no point for me. If I had to throw a couple shekels down, I'd roll with the over on this one.